welcome to my channel. My name is Tyree. I'm here with another video. It's super early in the morning, so good morning. I am here to show you guys my favorite everyday lips. I have five of them that I'm going to be showing you guys. One of them is a nude. The other two are berry looks. The fourth one's a vampy look. And then the fifth one is an ombre berry look. So I'm just going to show you guys how I do those. Although we're stuck in quarantine, I still like to put on lip gloss and lipstick, so that's what I'm going to be doing. And I do have two of my favorite lip glosses that I'll be featuring in this tutorial. And one is Fenty Beauty. This is the Fenty Glow. So that's this one right here. And then the other one is Smashbox, and this one is the one that I like to wear when I'm wearing my nude lip. So I will be doing my nude one with this one first. But for my other berry looks, this is the one that I go for. So let's go ahead and get right into the video. Just a disclaimer, please excuse my hair. I'm actually in the middle of a protein treatment this week and an aloe vera treatment this week. So I didn't want to manipulate my hair with heat or anything just for this video. So this is the best that I could do right now because I'm just doing a whole thing this week but I still wanted to get out a video. Now before all of my lips, I like to start off with lip balm. So my choice of lip balm is the Birds and Bees and this one's a cucumber mint but any flavor works but this is the best because it leaves my lips so moisturized. So we're gonna do the nude lip and um, let me actually show you guys all three of the lip liners that I'm going to be using because I do use lip liner. So I have the Chestnut Lip Liner by MAC Cosmetics, the Night Moth Lip Liner. This one's very short. You can see that I always use this. And then I have just a regular brown by NYX. So this is what I like to use to outline my Vamby lip and maybe my nude lip. So let's go ahead and get started with my preferred nude. So I am going to first outline my lip with chestnut. So, next I'm going to go in with Trouble and this is from Anastasia. It's the perfect nude lip that I could find that matches closely with Trap, which is the other nude lip that I used to wear often that was from ColourPop, but ColourPop, I guess they stopped the production on that one. So I outline my lips with the chestnut and I'm just going to go in with this in the middle. I just rub my lips together. One second, I need a mirror. If the lighting is changing, it's because I'm using natural light, it's my go to. And sometimes I'll even go in with the darker brown to kind of intensify it a little bit. So I'm going to do that. It just makes it stand out against my complexion when I do that. And now I'm going to go in with Smashbox Coraline to basically coat the entire lip. Also, don't mind if you see flakes in my hair. That's everything from the aloe vera treatment. So yeah, this is my nude lip, my go-to nude. And um, again, I use chestnut, then I use like a darker brown to outline the look to give it more of like a definition against my complexion. And then I use trouble, which is by Anastasia, and I put that in the center, and then I go over the entire thing with Coraline, so. I'll also have everything listed below in the description box. And now we're gonna go in with our first berry look. So this one is gonna be the berry featuring the nude. So I'm gonna use Anastasia again. All right, so for the berry nude, 
that's where I just used only my lip liner. I actually wear this one often, so you've probably seen it. If you watch one of my previous videos where I was vlogging, I wore this combination. So that's where I go in with Night Moth. So again, this is by MAC as well. Okay, now that my lips are outlined with the Night Moth, I just kind of rub them together first before I actually apply the Anastasia Trouble Nude. I like for more of the nude to be centered more so on my bottom lip than seeing it on my top lip. So I like how it goes from like berry to like the nude and then to the outline of the berry again. And this is my other lip. And I try my best to dab on the lip gloss so that it doesn't smudge it. Since I'm mixing colors, I don't want the lip gloss to smudge like my liner across the center of my lip. That kind of almost happened with the first look that I did, the nude look. You can use a clear lip gloss as well if you don't want like to use more of like this type of color on top of your lip gloss but it really doesn't make a difference to me it still comes out shiny and the color still pops so now we are going to take night moth yet again and line the lips I'm gonna go in with this little berry color which is called zipper and this is from ColourPop and I've had this for a long time they also no longer produce this on the website as far as the last time I checked so I'm gonna have to find another color similar to it but um, this is one of my favorite lips so then I just kind of also um, kind of outline my lip with this as well I don't necessarily fill it in And then I just kind of, you know, keep putting um, my lips together to kind of smudge it all over. And then I just leave it just like that and I leave the center blank. I love this look. This is also my other go-to. So if I'm not wearing the other berry combination, I'm wearing this combination. Um, then I just go back in just to like reline my lip. course we're gonna go in with Fenty and just dab it from the center out if you haven't noticed what I love about these lip looks is they make my lips look fuller and plumper so I love doing definitely the lip liner but also it's like when you do a gradient effect, it just makes you look like your lips are full. So this particular lip always makes my lips look like plump. So this is one of my go-tos. So now we're gonna go in with our vampy look and then the ombre look. And unfortunately, the ombre look is also another like berry color, but I still want to show you guys how I at least do my ombre looks. You can see all my imperfections on my lip. Uh, my lips are sometimes really chapped, so I bite them, and you can just see that. Okay, so for my vampy look, I have this really pretty, uh, this is actually, what is this called? Ooh, it's called. <laughs> I, didn't, I never realized that it's called Drop Dead Red, but I got this from Too Faced a while ago. And what I'll do is I will actually line my lips with this first, and then I go in with the very dark brown lip liner just so that you can see it so that it doesn't get lost under this dark color sometimes. And 
and I do um, press my lips together so that it can create like a nice little gradient effect as well. It looks like this part isn't filled in, but I don't know why it looks like that on camera. But here when I'm looking in the mirror, it's filled in. Must be the glare, but um, either way, let's go ahead and go on with the dark brown lip, almost black. I'm sorry that the sun keeps on messing with the lighting. I'm in the market for a ring light and possibly a new camera just so that I can stop struggling with the lighting and with the autofocus. So this is pretty much um, just the lip liner and the liquid matte lipstick so far. And then I just go in with lip gloss. So for this look I'm going to use Coraline because I only use the Fenty if I'm doing like more of like a berry look because it has glitter in it. So I'm going to go in with Coraline because this is just a plain nude and I start in the center first and then I go towards the outside. So here is my vampy look. And although it's darker color such as the lip liner and the liquid lipstick that I use, it's more of my go-to when I want to wear some sort of like red when it's spring or summer because it just fits me and it bounces off my complexion perfectly. Sometimes I struggle with the other reds, like the actual true reds for some reason um, because I struggle with what lip liner to use with those. But this is more of like something that works for me and in my favor. So I like to wear this look um, all year round. So we're going to get on to our next and final lip. And that is the ombre. Woo, child, my lips are going through it, okay? So, putting on my lip balm, it's saving my life right now. If you're still watching this video so far, please hit the like button and subscribe. I really appreciate it. Thank you for watching the video so far, and I hope you're enjoying it. I am using just three old school OG ColourPop liquid matte lipsticks. So, of course, I have the berry one that I was using already, this one zipper. And then I have Guess, which is this plum purple one. And then I have this, like, really pretty um, pink. This is, like, a really bright pale pink. And this one is Koala. I didn't know it was ever called that, but it's Koala. So, this is what I do my ombre lips with. I actually don't go in with lip liner for this particular look. So, let's go ahead and get started because my camera is dying already. Now that my lip is outlined with the plum, I'm going to go in with Zipper, which is the berry shade. Go right over top of that. We're doing an ombre look. And now I'm just going to go in and fill in the middle with the pale pink and um, just kind of like dab it on there. I'm gonna go back in with some of the berry color because I kind of lost it. So this is the ombre look. Kind of reminds me of my shirt somehow. So I go in with Coraline right afterwards to make it glossy. Also, ColourPop's liquid matte lipsticks are kind of harsh. So I went over this with the Coraline and it kind of doled down the Koala Pink. So I would recommend that you use more of a clear lip gloss if you have it. I currently don't have it and since we're quarantining, I could not pick it up. But um, usually I like to stick with the matte look, but the only thing is that particular brand, which is ColourPop, it makes my lips really chapped so sometimes it'll like, you know, start to peel off and stuff like that. 
so I'll have to keep those with me and reapply like maybe twice a day. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed this very small video. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And stay tuned for any future videos that I have planned. So um, yeah, just thank you guys so much for supporting me by watching this video. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye!